Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Loss of Scaling yet again, used with Killzone 3. Now this is a random game I've tried, but this is one game that I really love. So to get it to run how, just how I want it, I'm having to fine tune RPCS3, I'm having to fine tune um, Loss of Scaling. But in order to, as you can see there, 20 FPS. Let's minimize that. Have a look at this. Hey, it is nasty. It just blew his head right off. That wasn't too shabby, was it? It's considering I'm playing at 20 FPS. So, you know, you use an NVIDIA control panel to lock the game, any game within RPCS3 to 20 frames a second. Yeah. Now we have to access NVIDIA control panel. Right click, NVIDIA control panel. Program settings, if it doesn't appear there, click add, you know, then browse for it. And then once you find it, it will always find it. Yeah, max frame rate, 20 FPS. Make sure that's on. Use your arrow keys to move the slider or type it in. Okay, click apply. And uh, basically the game will stay at 20 FPS. Now I'm locking it at 20 FPS because I've got a 60 Hertz monitor. And when I use the loss of scaling, I use the X3. LS FG 2.2 is the very latest. I'm using it with DXGI capture. X3. Pause the video if you want to take a good look at that. Yeah. I always have that on custom, custom scaling mode. Scaling type doesn't need to scale because I mean it's at a native 4K anyway. 3840 by 2160 to be exact. Uh, Alright, so let's um let's scale this bad boy. Look at that. Look at that difference. And it feels wonderful to play. And I'm sure in time, any artifacts that you see, when you move the cam camera rapidly, it will be sorted out. Stay close. I have to stay close to you because I keep having to revive you, you dickhead. <laughs> Let's blow that up, so we can blow it up from here. This game was ahead of its time. But look at that, 24, let's go to a dark. Look at your top left there, 24 stroke 60. I think in future versions of this, they will they will give you the option to uh, change the color of the readout, the position, well, the FPS counter, the position of it and the size, you know. That, that would be great, you know, because it's a bit small. You can't see white letters on a white background. But anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that my graphics card can handle this game in particular at 20 FPS throughout without really struggling. You know, it's not going to drastically drop to 10 FPS at any time soon. And your graphics card, you know, is working not anywhere near as hard as it would normally have to. And loss of scaling is kind of like a booster, you know what I mean? So that's loss of scaling with a game of your choice. Um, fine tuning. Basically, it's this about fine tuning your game and then using loss of scaling to get the very best out of whatever game you're playing. Now, other games, there'll be different settings, you know. There's got other games that I get 60 frames a second anyway, so I don't have to use loss of scaling. But anyway, I'm Pemby. I hope you understood all that. Let's have another look. Now, I am doing a campaign. I'm going to press C on my keyboard. We get the cell shaded look. I've done a full campaign featuring this look. And uh, I'm looking forward to bringing it to you. With, you know, smooth gameplay like this. Stick together. With video visuals like this. Anyway, thank you for watching. And... Uh, 
just ask me any question you want in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer all questions. But I think I've been very yes. Form up on me. I've been very uh, clear in my explanation, explanations, even though I can't talk properly sometimes. Hang on. Oh yeah! Kill the Higgs! Keep on my six. Shut up. Let's go and blow some heads off. That's nasty. That's evil, baby. That's evil. It's only a video game. Anyway, kills all three. Running beautifully. Thank you for watching.